Good morning, everybody. It's Quinton here from FitPro Q&A, also from the Train Me Academy. And I've got a, a nice interview lined up with Sean Berger today. Sean and I have been chatting about his fitness business. Uh, and Sean has, has uh, not too long ago made the switch from corporate life or uh, running his own business and uh, decided to do something different and, he's, and to follow his passion, which is fitness. Sean, how's it going? No, very well. Thanks, Quinton. Yourself? Yeah, very good. Thank you. So tell me about this, this whole change that you made uh, three years ago. How did that come about? Um, yeah, well, as I said, I was in the corporate uh, industry, in mostly in manufacturing, um, but yeah, it was just like, you know, nine to five kind of work and yeah, I wasn't very passionate or enthusiastic about it. And yeah, so I decided to totally, you know, I've always been training, always been at the gym, um, you know, since my early 20s. And so, yeah, it just yeah, it hit me kind of late to get into the fitness industry, but better late than never. Absolutely. And yeah, I went and got my qualifications and yeah, up and running as a trainer and thoroughly enjoying it. Yes. That's fantastic. Well done on that, because I think it's quite a brave step to do is uh, sort of reinventing yourself and, and following your passion instead of just kind of, you know, going along with the, the run of the mall stuff. So, so that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. So tell me, Sean, yes. uh, what, what type of fitness training do you do? Well, I'm mostly a mobile fitness trainer. Um, yeah, I'm contracted by a company that kind of gets me some clients uh, based in northern Johannesburg, Santon side. Um, and then they send me leads of clients that are some, you know, within a certain radi kilometer radius with, with, yeah. within my area. Uh, obviously, if it's too far out, you know, then, you know, uh, you know, ask them to kindly find another trainer, um, you know, because obviously traveling time and that also, you know, is an expense. And so taking all of that kind of things yeah. into consideration. Yeah, so obviously try and find the closest radius where I can just go from one client to another client. Yeah, is and, you know and obviously you, ideal. Yeah, mainly do it in person, or do you some do some online stuff as well? Uh, yeah, I've done a couple of onlines, and then some are mostly in person, and quite a lot of uh, uh, couples like husband and wives, or mothers and daughters, okay. and you know those kind of you know those kind of things which have been you know really great you know yeah, uh, yeah. like kind of family of the mother the one session and then the next one it's like the the son and daughter you know so yeah mm. so it's do really you, great do you think yeah. that's kind of where uh, fitness training is going to go do you think uh, online will become a big part of your business yeah well i think i think also especially since or since the COVID, obviously a lot of tra uh, changes happened i think it was mostly most people were gym based you know would actually go into the gyms uh, i think there obviously still was online going on at the time but i think since uh, obviously COVID, uh, i think it really gave online and that a, a big boost you know yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think a lot of people, when they stuck at home and couldn't do anything um, or couldn't go anywhere, you know, that was kind of what was available. So, yeah, so I think it's definitely got uh, there's a big uh, room for online training as well. Definitely. Okay. All right. Yeah. And uh, what sort of what type of training do you do? What do you specialize? In? Um, well, I do a lot of yeah, uh, uh, a lot of um, like weight loss, uh, body toning. Um, obviously, some are a bit skinny or on the skinnier side and want to build muscle or put on size. Yeah. Uh, a lot of HIIT training, you know, like very uh, high intensity, uh, short breaks in between kind of workouts. Um, yeah. And then I just travel to the homes and businesses. I have my like anti, my big ball and my mat, uh, box with resistance bands and ankle weights and a couple of dumbbells. And yeah, that seems to work just great, you know. Right. And, um, and yeah, is, I can't, uh, I don't lug, uh, lug around 20 kilo dumbbells, but you know, <laughs> yeah, you do the best you can, you know. And, and <laughs> yeah. do, you, do you sort of uh, improvise when you get to clients uh, with, with different... Yes, yes. Different well, a lot of them, uh, obviously I speak to them before I go and see them. I give them a shout. 
Um, and then I just have a brief chat about what their goals are, what they want to do, if it's to build muscle or lose weight. Then obviously taking into any consideration if they've had any kind of knee problems or injury, you know, back problems, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, which will obviously also determine how the workout goes. You know, if some have had rehabilitation or you know, knee problems, you can't exactly, you know, make them do 100 squats or something like that, you know. So yeah. then you just got to find a different option. Um, yeah, but I kind of, once I've seen the client and I get a feel for, for the first time, um, how they are, where their levels of kind of fitness and strengths and weaknesses are, then I have a very good idea of how to plan their workout and, you know, uh, you know, how it's going to go from then on, you know, Absolutely. so, yeah. yeah. Do, do you have some uh, sort of a picture of who your ideal client is? Who do you think you really connect with? Um, well, obviously, I think my ideal client would be the ones that have the most discipline and the ones are, you know, that are the most enthusiastic. Yeah, uh, I do have some clients that, you know, obviously that you see more times during the week, which obviously, you know, they are very keen and disciplined to train. Uh, but then you do have the occasional ones that, you know, they'll see me twice a week and I'm, I'm grateful and very happy. When I ask them what they do the other five days of the week, they don't really do much. Ah. So, yeah, you know, so that's when I try and, you know, uh, ask them or, you know, try and, and keep them enthusiastic and ask them to go for a walk or, you know, when they yes. don't see me, just keep up doing some form of exercise, even if it's 30 minutes every day, Yeah, you know, just to keep it up, you know, so they will see the results. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and that's the, actually, know, that's a great place where you could, you know, use the online, uh, you know, you could still do in person, but the online can keep, maybe people can keep up and do stuff at home during those yes, times when yes. they don't see you. Yeah. Um, online is great, but the, only the one disadvantage I'd say is if uh, when I go to, obviously I have some equipment and weights and quite a few of mine have nothing. They say, what am I going to use? You know, you can say, well, you can use, uh, you know, a bag of potatoes or something like that, but, uh, <laughs> you know, but obviously, uh, yeah, they don't have, but you can still, obviously I tell them you can still do a workout, you can still do sit-ups and push-ups and jumping jacks and, Absolutely. you know, a lot of exercise where you don't need equipment. So, you know, it just takes a bit of uh, trying to convince and push and, you know, get people to, you know, opt in. But once I think they're in, you know, then it's a yeah. you know, big yeah. help to them. Yeah. 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 Something that, you know, I've uh, come across a lot with a lot of PTs that's using a fitness app. Um, and then because then you can also build those programs in there so that they can follow the uh, a program even when they're on their own. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And as I do have an app that's got one of these smart scales. So yeah. uh, when I do do my first assessment, it doesn't just give their weight, you know, it gives their uh, water body percentage, BMI, you know, it breaks it all down and tells you where they are and it does a graph. And then every time I do that on the app, you know, it'll give a comparison whether they've gone up or down, set your goals, all of that. And then I can just WhatsApp or, or email or have all of the information yeah. to them. So they also, you know, okay. uh, can see how they're doing, obviously, you know, like every second week or so, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And tell me, Sean, uh, what what gets Sean up in the morning? What is your driver? What is your vision of where you where you want to go? Um, well, obviously, yeah. No, I just it depends what time getting up in the morning. You know, those four <laughs> those four AMs are a bit hard yeah. sometimes, especially yeah. in winter. But <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah. No, I mean, obviously, as I said, it's it's something I'm very passionate about. I love. Uh, not being like stuck in an office kind of thing, you know, always mm -hmm. going to people, seeing different people, meeting them. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's always different environments. So it's uh, always new and exciting and challenging. It's never really kind of the same thing. That's you right. Know, and every person's different and needs a different, different workouts and different, you know, which, which would help them better, you know? So, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So uh, trying to be very driven and enthusiastic and trying to get people excited and passionate about uh, trying to be healthy, you know, and keep yeah. healthy. So, yeah. yeah. So that's something that really gets you excited is when you see that transformation in a client. Yes. When you see, you know, that first photo you might take of them, you know, that first assessment, 
and then by the end say the second or third month time that other photo and they can also you know see the difference themselves you know yeah that's obviously where that's the goal you know that's where yeah. it's you know yeah. that's what counts the most yeah. okay and what is the big audacious goal that you have for your business what if you could sort of fast forward two years five years well what what do you see mm. for your business sure well um obviously yeah that's i'd love to be obviously a lot very busy all the time you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> but obviously it's tough with other people working in business hours and yeah um it would be nice to become a pretty well known trainer, you know, very you know, word of mouth and good reputation from other clients, which obviously testimonials and then help. But yeah, um, and obviously, if I could have my dream kind of job as a trainer or dream training job, it would probably be in like the sports field kind of okay. thing, you know, like. Uh, being a trainer for the spring box or something wow. like that okay. you know that could be like the dream you know Absolutely. kind of obviously i think i might be a bit a bit late in life <laughs> but you know um yeah but that would be you know that's that would be great but obviously yeah. to do you know maybe also uh help people along you know all shapes and sizes kids yeah. older people you know that's yeah. that's and, and is, how do you, you know, get the word out about. there sean how do you promote yourself uh, a lot of my social media as well, Facebook and Instagram, you know, I'm starting to do also a lot on there uh, with client testimonials, client videos, you know, film little videos of clients. Obviously, you ask them if it's all okay if I film them and they're happy, you know, <laughs> and yeah, cut a little video for them and also send them that video as well. So, you know, they can, maybe they want to post it themselves or share mm. it themselves, you know. Which yeah. also because kind of just spreads 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 the word, you know. So right. and which which yeah, platforms so, do you use? Facebook, Instagram. I'm mostly on Facebook and Instagram. Oh. Oh. So and posting a lot on a lot on the adverts on the, all the suburbs. I love Santon. I love okay. this one. I love that. You know. That's so I good. place ads, you know, every day. Yeah, and yeah, it's been pretty. I do get quite a few messages back. That's good. Um, it's great, you know. Obviously, some people are very budget conscious and money is a factor to them. So sometimes you give a price and then they're like, you know, no, that's way too expensive, you know. Oh, yeah. They expect you to, you know, train them for 50 bucks or 100 bucks, you know, whatever. So, yes. and, yeah. you know, obviously some, you know, can afford it and, you know, are very happy. And yeah, that's fantastic. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's been great, Sean. If somebody wants to get hold of you, um, what's the best way to do it? Um, yeah, well, that um, on uh, Instagram, they can probably look me up. I'm, uh, actually, uh, my name is Body in Motion. Uh, so it's Body in Motion, 180 degrees. Yeah. That's one word. And that is my Instagram. Um, yeah, I am on, on my personal uh, Facebook. I do have a uh personal training as well my little post but uh near in the near future now i'm going to start a, a totally separate account just for my personal training okay but obviously i'm going to link the one to the other and yeah so all right yeah a lot so of social media and advertising you got a different name on facebook yeah <laughs> yes, on Facebook it was Sean. Unfortunately, I, I used to be Sean Berg, but uh, it was on my. Uh, I had a, pro, a phone issue and I couldn't log back into my uh -huh. old account. I couldn't get the password and I couldn't yeah. log in, so I just started a whole new account. So yeah, my name's actually uh, it's Sean O on the, on Facebook, but that's why I want to actually change it to my full name. So I'm going to be doing a brand new facebook yeah but uh right. i am sean berg on instagram so yeah okay. i'm there as well so hopefully they're all linked together and yeah perfect okay well great i mean we'll tag you in in this video and then people can sort of uh hit you up directly cool Thank thanks you. Chris, and i really appreciate the chat the chat and the opportunity yeah it was uh, nice to connect with you thank you yeah, so good much fun. good luck hey cheers thanks you too all Bye. the best thank